I'm, I'm Andy Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Road to the Gauntlet. Maybe. The Shock Rock Gauntlet. Hey, or we, as... fucking, we got the pretense, man. Is it what really going to be that? I mean, Paul seems to think it's not going to be, and he has uh, some reasons why. He was sharing them with me before the, the stream. He thinks I'm I mean, I'll, look, Paul, I'll tell you what. It's like it's a coin flip, man. I don't know. I have I have one thing that really set me off, Scotty, and I hate to say it. It was you. In my <laughs> oh, mind, man. I was like, in all the years we've been doing this, <laughs> if somebody says, hey, I'm researching a show, Scotty don't give a fuck as long as it ain't him. He ain't fucking... Hey, how's that research going, buddy? Mind if I peruse it and maybe add a few things of my own? There's been too many check-ins publicly in our little group Discord from you for me to buy this. This is this is a Kirk conspiracy. This is Kirk illusion. Okay, I hear what you're saying, man, but I'd still say it's a coin flip, man. 50-50, Paul. You never know what's going to happen on this yeah, show. I mean, hey, you I'd never do you wrong. know. And Stevie's here. Before. And Stevie. Stevie or Steve's or the Grim. Hey. Stevie. Uh, I'm surprised to see you here. Well, I, I, was thought, invited. Uh, I forced his hand. I thought I fucking broke you, Stevie. Uh, you kind of did. I, they, I actually have to go to uh, pain management now. But they yeah, uh, can't do anything right. for me. Yeah, physical therapy. Yeah, physical therapy couldn't even fix what Big Brother did. Well, don't have, you, you son of a bitch. Yeah, you have to get a surgery. I, I to demand a rematch at some point, right? You calling your mom a bitch, Stevie? I'm calling. I'm calling you a son of a bitch. Yes. Yeah. Well, who am I the son oh, of? Oh fuck, Stevie. That's fucked up, man. You're gonna bring our mom into this. So after you know, you're so. I fucking challenge you just... to another fight. All right. A real I mean, one that isn't fake. Yes, it, uh, so we know this one's actually not true. Stevie is still a virgin. No, Stevie is not. Stevie is definitely think, not. What do you think goes on at the hut? Come on. <laughs> Paul, you still got my last F word token. What are you talking about? F word? I don't I remember know. giving you a token, buddy. Paul, your hoodie game has been on point <laughs> lately. Old hoodies that fit now. A couple of those, yeah, but this is a new hoodie. I got this for Christmas. That actually, actually looks really nice. It's well, like a mar maroon or something. It's, well, it's a polo hoodie, so it's got like blue, green, yellow on the pockets. Oh, well, yeah. It's like primary colors, the hoodie. It's flashy. But, so this should um, be a pretty easy gauntlet for you, huh, Paul? <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> maybe. I'm <laughs> figuring maybe. Like, if you're actually doing a shock rock gauntlet and you're driving the bus... Bro, this is one of the easiest types of gauntlets. All I got to do is kick back and every once in a while go like, that's crazy, though. <laughs> <laughs> that's <Yeah>. weird. <laughs> Should be yeah, a nice, easy hard. one for you. I Paul. mean, in theory, the theory yeah, of the... Thing. This has the, all been designed to lull me into a false <laughs> sense of fucking... Paul, you just chill out, bro. You got nothing on your plate. Chill, and you're gonna, it's going to be a stelter gauntlet or something. What do you guys think it's going to be? Well, like, well, I be. Well, I, I think it's gonna be a shock rock I'm gauntlet. Chat. I'm pulling the chat. It's a shock rock gauntlet, Paul. Shock I don't know why gauntlet, you don't. Dude. I don't know why all this <laughs> distrust, Paul. Gauntlet. I have smelled this fucking stinker coming from a mile away. Mile I, don't know, away. I don't know why <laughs> all this distrust. Gauntlet, has never this. once in his life cared <laughs> one fucking wit about anybody else's show. Until today, come on, buddy, come on. Hey, man, that's not true. There's sometimes I've cared a wit. That's maybe awesome. a wit, but not too a wit. wit. Maybe a wit. <laughs> yeah, but that, what you're saying is true. It's like, is it, uh, guys, fellas, am I on? No. Well, look, Scotty, look. why why were you so interested in the research on this particular gauntlet of, of good, good um, among question. all the gauntlets? You know, I why did know. you? I just felt compelled to be interested in it. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Now, honestly, I didn't. Uh, TJ's document was so extensive. I, you know, the stuff I pulled, I just felt like wouldn't it wouldn't be, uh, you know, <coughs> wouldn't fit the narrative structure. There yeah, was you, one part of it. You didn't even send me nothing. I don't think. Well, no, I, me I messaged you, but you don't check your messages for me, I guess. But oh, okay. I just told you basically that I saw your document, which is very extensive, very well researched, very long, might I add, very long. Yeah, document. my very well researched shock rock gauntlet. That yeah, I and, 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 I, and I felt like you know, it's like honestly, I might be stealing some of TJ's thunder here if I try to pull other shit and take it in different directions. I'll just go with uh, what TJ's pulled. Please pulled give so this much. to Steve. Okay, I'm Steve. Steve. For the purpose of this donation, I'm Steve. <laughs> F word for Dyken. Yeah. Uh, Trump. Man, I look forward to the uh, shock rock gauntlet, though, guys. This is a gauntlet that, you know, a lot of planning <laughs> went into it, a lot of preparation. 
And uh, Bowl is up. Excited. My- exhaustive planning. Exhaustive, exhaustive research. research. Yeah, I mean, a very long document, Paul. Very long. Paul I watched a 15 minute video before coming on. <laughs> you did? What, you watch? Oh, just Lego? on Shock Rock in general? Yeah. Uh, what, what do you know about Shock Rock, Stevie? What do you know about it? Yeah, tell uh, us your tell us your knowledge, Stevie. There's a lot of blood, defecation, and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. And, I mean, uh, that's a, a the whole summary. Of fan of a band uh, that I would call minorly shock rock. You know, uh, Manson. Old, no, not Man- well Manson too. But uh, you're a bigger fan of another band, from what I understand, a German band, Rammstein. Oh, yeah, Rammstein. Rammstein. Yeah. <laughs> that that was another one. Uh, that was on the video. I, I don't remember, remember the name day. of the video. <laughs> still remember the day that mom came to me. He's like, Stevie wrote this beautiful poem. I was like in fourth grade when I did that. No, you were you were way older than fourth grade. No, it was fourth grade. Oh, fourth grade, my ass. I, think anyway, I, re- in... I remember it because uh, like Chris Cleland was in the same class as me. All right. Steve, why are you fucking you doxing people, Stevie? Stevie just doxing. Doc- a family you just friend. dox Chris Cleland or whatever the fuck. But anyway, oh, is that doxing? Yeah, you doxed him. You're a bad person. Anyway, he's a piece. Oh, of he's shit, a piece though. of shit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Well, then it doesn't matter. Go kill that guy. Um. Anyway, he threatened so, to kill me once. <laughs> well, see, there you go. It's all uh, just yeah. Then. Uh, but uh, yeah, Stevie fucking mom was like, "Oh, Stevie wrote this." And I'm looking at it. I'm like, "This looks fucking suspect to me." This looks familiar. That was a uh, mind tile. It was a. Uh, yeah, I, I know. I was very ignorant of that when I was a fucking, kid. And then, and then, then went, it was like a. Uh, and then sorry. I went. And, I went and fucking typed in some of the shit, and I found out you just fucking translated mind tile, and then changed the fucking some genders around and shit. And bam. Yeah. Oh. Why, well. you su- why are you such a goddamn <laughs> plagiarist, Stevie? Uh, because I was a kid. Ah, uh, making excuses. Stevie. Stevie, oh. we smoked Pineapple Express in Vegas. Oh, cool. Good times. Pineapple Express. Thank you for Stevie. sharing. Stevie. Does anyone else think I that put, movie I is built, overrated, by the way? Yeah. I like it. I built a new computer, Stevie. Oh, you did? Brand fucking new, Stevie. Uh, oh, yeah, Paul. Thanks for uh, hopping in on Helldivers that one time for me. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Turn your phone oh. off. The hell, Stevie. <laughs> Gather the, the berries and fish for Lord Stevie. Yeah. The strain is overrated. I don't. I don't, I don't think this. I'm not saying. Stevie, this, do you remember smoking the Pineapple Express this, with this guy? I don't think the strain is overrated. People, people. I just oh, okay. think that movie is overrated. I don't really see what was so fucking good about it, but a lot of people seem to love it. So whatever. The people are obsessed with that fucking thing. I like. Uh, oh, I that? just accidentally ended the poll. Well, the poll was monumentally in favor of this is a ruse well, monumentally it was like 78 to 21 when i ended it it's not a ruse paul it's not a fucking ruse you're gonna be really pleasantly surprised <laughs> it's not a ruse that it's not i don't ruse. know this <laughs> shit-eating grin on your face has giving away the whole fucking no, game. paul this is a reassuring grin paul it's a reassuring no, it's a grin it's I know a reassuring grin. grin that's meant to lull you into a not false a true sense Okay. <sighs> uh, you know, Paul, I can't wait for you to sit back and relax and enjoy the shock. Me rock too. Hey, I, I hope that you're right. I hope this is just a shock rock gauntlet. I can kick back. Let it is, man. Drive the bus, say this is weird about 110 times over the next eight hours and then fucking <clears throat> cash it in, you know? But yeah, you will. TJ, I'm, I know I'm him. feeling generous for Stevie. Aw. Oh, uh, thank you. Wow. We'll make sure that Stevie gets absolutely none of that money and we'll spend none. it. Hell yeah. All for zero us. dollars, zero cents of that money. So, uh, yeah, if y'all want to give me money, come over to uh, twitch.tv slash Steve's or the Grim. There you <laughs> go. Plug your shit, yeah, Stevie. Yeah, plug your shit, Stevie. You've been playing a lot, Steve. You've been pretty much streaming every day, haven't you? Yeah. What else can it's he a- do with his fucking back broken? Broken it's- by TJ. By the way, merch to your patrons. How are we enjoying? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I heard some I of you have-, have, have, have started arriving. I saw some pictures. What nice. do you think? I like it. Uh, someone told me on Instagram really that they love it. Right. So, I, I mean, dude, it's a kick ass mug. AF. The nectar of life, dude. <clears throat> the nectar of life. 
And I'll, be able to, I'll buy some of those. I'll buy a hundred cups. You can't. <laughs> You can't buy it. Merch you, be a merch you can't buy it. I'll, yeah. Oh, Steve, you actually you know what? One is going to you guys. Oh, mom, sweet. Because mom is the test person in the uh, Excel oh. spreadsheet. <laughs> Damn you to hell. I didn't want Stevie to have one. Well, well, I'm, giving it, I'm going to our mom. I'm not giving it to Stevie. Well, Stevie's not allowed to drink it. I'm going to call mom and let her okay, know. Okay, well, you can call mom and let her know. Look, <laughs> only you, you and Steve can use it, Stevie. Absolutely. Dude. <laughs> I'm so fucking glad I never had any older brothers, bro. Oh my god, dude! You guys are torturers. You're torturers. Yeah. You act it's like your like, sisters were not torturers. Yeah, yeah, yeah you got tortured pretty hard. Kind time. of torture, though. Yeah, that's the true. most scars I have are from my brothers. I have to say. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The, the only scars world, I have for my sisters are internal and mental. See, but a little bit is, of those too. Yeah. 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 What the actual fuck, lol? What? Is that a what bot? Even, what even it's happened? Is that a bot? It's gotta Maybe. be a bot. It's a bot. Somebody botting? Greetings, my botting? fellow Tomotinos. My morning coffee has received blessings from the vine. Blessings to be upon you. <laughs> what is Paul doing over there? So stuff, juicy. I'm, stuff is... yeah, I'm getting up to go freaking fill my drink. Oh my god, stuff is fucking squeaking over there. Dude, Paul's gonna take a fucking huge shit, dude. He's running to the toilet right now to go. Oh god. <laughs> Oil, your f get some WD 40 over there, Paul. I need a little double, double, I need a little WD 40 for my uh, mic arm. Actually, I'm trying to get rid of this fucking mic arm, bro. Oh yeah, that's right. You said you were gonna get issue a, with mine. You're gonna get a fucking. Um, it's gonna uh, be expensive yeah. as fuck, but I'm gonna get one. I'm saving up. The one How much do they the cost? Point. Like at nine hundred bucks or something? Yeah, like six between oh, shit. Six and nine hundred. But I, yeah, I've, I've looked at them before. Yeah, they're You're they're pretty steep. high quality broadcast mics. Well, that's mine cool. only costs like five bucks. It, it, yeah, well, yeah, yeah but it's a piece of broadcast shit. Mic that is Bluetooth right into the board, so that I can leave the room. I could go all the way outside and keep talking to you guys right now. If I had this mic, and assuming that I can get the mic quality within. You know, a margin of error based around the mic quality of this. Fuck it, bro. <laughs> Fuck it. I mean, for some content, that would definitely work. But if it's something you had to see, I think you'd still have the issue of, you know, if you can't, you can't watch it, then you're going to be a disadvantage. But yeah, and I'm, I mean, being hands free for most of the show, I mean, fuck, dude, I don't blame it's you. At not, all. Yeah, it's, I'm not planning on just like being away from computer. Oh, no, of course not. not. Having to like fucking, but you're, you're saying you got to go take a piss or something. Yeah, or, or if to, I want to yeah, go have a yeah. cigarette and we're in the middle of a talk, I don't have to stop. You know what I mean? I don't have to like. That, that would be cool. Up. Well, if yeah. you like it, I might consider getting one too. Cause... I'll let you guys know. I'll keep you abreast of it. Yeah, because I would. Uh, it'd be nice to not have to deal with this fucking thing. For I'm sure. sure. Well, you see me like I fuck with it way more than anybody because I'm. Yeah, I, you're a fiddler with it. I am constantly moving it. I'm never happy with where my mic sits on my body. Like, like right here feels comfortable now, but I'm gonna shift in a minute. And now TJ I gotta... looks older than last time we saw him. I look older than fucking when I, I mean, I am technically older than I was when you saw me on fucking Tuesday. Every day he gets older. Old man, TJ. That's what I do. I age. I guess I, I look significantly older, though. I don't know. Not been able to keep your youthful appearance, TJ. Yeah. You know, I bet you I'd look a lot younger if I just shaved this beard off. Yeah, if Oof. you dyed your beard you or you shave it, that's what you gotta do. What do you guys think of my, me going fucking black with this shit? Nah. Black beard, black hair. No. Um, no, no. Look like black get, beard, the get fucking it done pirate. For, get it done no. professionally. Stevie says no. Uh, I, I, can't, I can't see it any other way. I think it'd be fine, but I would recommend you get it done by someone knows what the fuck they're doing. Well, yeah, I would go to a, like a fucking professional to do it. I would. Uh, that's gonna be a lot of that. That's gonna mean like every four weeks you're going to a fucking place like that. That's though. that's what I was thinking, you know. And then I mean, the roots are gonna be constantly fucking coming out, and then I have to go fucking back. And duh, 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 so. unless you don't care about the contrast, if you don't care about that, then well, I mean, I'm gonna definitely fucking be annoyed. Because look, I mean, it. like you see my roots growing out and shit. So I mean, but like I don't really care. Yeah. Yeah, but it, that's that's because but your roots are already light colored, and then your hair is just blonde, so it's not like. Super I had black light. hair for years, you know. You should just go straight gray. Just go to fucking just go white. Yeah, just go straight gray. Just go like full wizard. Yeah, just embrace the wizard. 
You'll get that anyways. I, I would, well, you I know what? No, I, got, black. I gotta lose the weight first, Steve, because otherwise I'm just gonna look like fucking Santa Claus. Yeah, be like, it's it's Santa. Well, you gotta, it'd be a side gig. Nah, I don't want to fucking do that shit. You bring joy to all the children. Dye your hair black, TJ. Dye I'm your thinking, hair and beard black. Become I'm black. black. Yeah, I mean, because that's dude. When I've done that for like Halloween and shit, when I've gotten like that spray shit and just done it, I've looked fucking terrifying, dude. I, I, look agree. Fucking, I look fucking scary when I'm like that. But you know what? I've got one requirement. You got to dress like a fucking pirate everywhere you go. You like the dude in dodgeball. Okay, I agree to that. I agree. <laughs> I see, he's like, right. I just hey, cosplay every day. <laughs> TJ's pirate arc. Dude, you're going to fucking terrify some people in your town. <laughs> you fucking, and you got to get some like platform. So you're well, like, like you're like six foot ten or something. You walk into a place. And you're like, what dude, you the know fuck what? is going on? You know what happens? Even though my skin is pale as fuck, I start to look Arab and shit. You know, so I just look like fucking Osama bin Laden or some fucking <laughs> shit walking around, you know? <laughs> like, what the hell's the guy? People are like, who the fuck is that? Blackbeard, the butt rock pirate. <laughs> Give me some puffy fucking shirts. Then I'll break Stevie again. Just like Bane broke fucking Batman. <laughs> Stevie, I was wondering what break first, your spirit. Yeah, the, oh, the, your the funny thing about that, like, me and Scotty were like, play fighting almost doing our little wrestling gig and then tj comes up and we're like he, he's uh hey you're, That's I, I never get had on this. version on the show so stevie tell us about when tj attacked yeah you. tell me tell us about the time tj attacked you stevie because i mean it wasn't attacked <laughs> well it, like me and scotty were like doing the playing you know huh, like you know over exaggerated wrestling and tj comes up I think he thought that we were having like a legit competition because we were doing like a fake lockup. But uh, whenever TJ comes in there, we we go. I go into the fake lockup with him, and he bull rushes me to the fucking ground, and I'm completely unexpected. And I go down. I'm trying to like grab him, and he he like success. Well, give, giving giving him the 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 props here. He kind of grabbed me but i still fucking fell on the ground i ripped his shirt while i was like coming down and like oh fuck my back it just landed right on that little injury back there <laughs> oh dude that, i remember like then like you steve you got up and you were fucking mad dude you were mad like but tj it just pushed hurt, over dude. so you couldn't but so you couldn't do really do anything to tj you're like well tj just pushed me to the ground so i can't really take my anger out on him <laughs> so it's like, like what See, that's doing? not even that's not even how i remember it how do you remember it? Here's how I remember it. I go in that room, and Scotty and Stevie are having their little weak ass contest of their meager strength against each other. And I'm just We're like, play wrestling. No, it's not. I remember it. I'm telling my story now. You got to tell your version. It's time for me to tell my version. So I go in there, and they're struggling against each other, but it's like watching two fucking mosquitoes fight. You know what I mean? And it's just like a joke. And I was just like, Puh. The genes are weak within them. And I was like, I challenge both of you to fight me at once. And Scotty's like, no. And he, Scotty just ran off, but Stevie was foolish. And he's like, foolish. I, <laughs> I can defeat you, TJ, all by myself. And I was like, bring it on, Stevie. And so Stevie cocks his fist back with a fucking huge haymaker. I don't even bother to try to dodge that shit. Boom. He makes contact. I just fucking... Dragon Ball Z that shit. I'm just like, I don't even fucking move. Not even a little <laughs> fucking decimeter, dude. DJ's so rabbit. Then, so then I fucking story. Yeah. So then I fucking just grab Stevie by his fucking lapel and I just lift L him lapel? up over my head, dude. And I spin him around and I bring him down. I bane hit that shit. I'm just like, bam. And his well, back is just shattered. <laughs> Blood shoots out of his what? mouth. Why did you kill me? And then I just left him laying there broken. And I was like, you're lucky I went easy on you, Stevie. And then it's been months and months of fucking physical therapy, therapy rehab, <laughs> pain why treatments I, and all that I stuff. I feel you like know? this story might be a little biased in one direction. <laughs> well, I mean, when you were gone, <laughs> I, I wonder. When you were gone, Steve, you got to tell his little bullshit version. So I figured I'd let people know the fucking truth. The okay. truth. Got it. Got it. Got All right, Whoa, so we're, doing Rosh, we're doing the Rashomon tale. I'll take like, my not, version. I didn't know you were so strong. Yeah. That's Here's what, what happened. happened. Yeah. yeah. TJ's strong as hell. I fucking, <laughs> look, Stevie, Stevie want to test his strength. So I get, let Stevie, you know, I'm like, all right, Stevie, let's just, you know, let's see what you got. 
not much. TJ strolls in. And I mean, TJ, you know how TJ is, like pretty oblivious. And he's like, let me get it on this action. And Stevie is like, all right, TJ, you're my older brother. You'd never hurt me. Yeah, Stevie, I'd never hurt you. And then TJ fucking with all his force just shoves Stevie back and starts bull rushing him and throws him to the fucking ground. Stevie desperately tries to hang on to TJ. TJ, no! I, I think it was actually even said like, TJ, no! Slam <laughs> Stevie in the ground is all like, that's what you get, bitch. <laughs> oh, you broke my back. Hey, hey, please, why have you done this? And then I had to step in and distract TJ because TJ's like a fucking beast. I'm like, TJ, I'll, I'll fucking, let's lock, let's lock up. TJ tries his shit with me. But obviously, I know how to shift TJ's weight. So I just let TJ go back. And I usually, you know, I could have hurt TJ really badly, but I'm a nice guy. I could have let TJ carry his momentum. I could have taken his momentum and thrown him into a fucking wall, probably knocked his ass out. But being the nice guy I am, I just was like, I just stepped back. TJ finally calmed down, stopped seeing red. And he hurt, he, meant, he meant to hurt Stevie. And TJ, uh, I've actually talked to my lawyer about this. And yeah, uh, Stevie, we have a lawsuit ready. Just need your signature against TJ. Nice. Now, Jacob Rose well, a lawsuit? Law. I suppose. No. Uh, Steve, I think, oh, look, Steve, I really uh, think you good. should. I mean, TJ so fucking permanently injured your back. Uh, so Stevie, is your back still hurt? Does your back uh, still yeah, hurt? Yeah, but I don't. Are I you don't in pain TJ every day? It. Are you in pain every day? I Well, yeah. <laughs> and TJ, TJ hurt you. Well, I, I'm not mad at TJ at all for it. So. <laughs> okay, but did TJ hurt you? <laughs> yeah, but. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he did. I mean, all these facts check out. Boom, boom, boom. I'm, I'm not going to lie. TJ's nothing. got a lot of money. A lot invested in NVIDIA. I think you should take some of that NVIDIA money from him. Peh. Well, no. <laughs> Peh. Steve, this is America. When you are wronged, what do you do? You don't go to the government. You go to the courts and you sue the shit out of people. TJ, you got a lawsuit coming. I almost forged TV's signature. You're just court, gonna, bitch. <laughs> I'm just going to forge Stevie's. <laughs> We've got ourselves a Fresnan in the audience here only a fresnan would know where to go for the hookers dude pinedale is the hooker zone all right glaze nut well paul if paul was single i think he maybe take you up on that but he's married so he's time good. to go to the hooker zone you go to pinedale man that's where the hoes be so how much of this gauntlet you join us for stevie all of it some that's of up it to you 28 percent, 98 percent, three percent uh I was I was gonna stream alone in the dark at eight p.m. How long does this usually go for? Six right, hours. Then you'll, then you'll be here until uh, about eight p.m. Stevie. Alrighty. <laughs> he's a guest. He'll just tell him how long he's gonna be. Like, all right. Okay. I, I can stay. I can stay longer. I'm gonna stream <laughs> just, alone in the dark. I'll, I'll say this, Stevie. You stay until the end. Then we can. You can just go right into your other stream. We can plug your stream. So there. I challenge TJ to DBZ level combat in the steps of Mongolia. Now, Stevie, you have to have to bless my discord. You have to. You have to join. Have you, have you joined join Paul's discord? Discord. Discord. Discord.gg forward slash Paul. Discord.gg forward slash Paul. Discord.gg forward slash Paul. You got to join right now. That's it, they're a bunch join of join that shit, and they all love you, Stevie. Members. Yeah, they yeah. all you'll, you'll be a god over there, bro. Yeah, you'll be worshipped as a literal fucking god. Yeah, I've got to download uh, a hell diver, Stevie, because we have to get you got to put a four man <laughs> squad together. It's only one other person if it's me, you, and Paul. Uh, yeah, how how many people in a squad in that game? Is it is it four? Four. four. Okay, so yeah, we need we need TJ. You've been recruited. No. <laughs> He's like no, God damn it, TJ. TJ! You have to fight for fucking democracy. TJ. All right, Jesus Christ, I'll get it. Are you gonna I guess. let the communist space robots take over? No, is that what you want, TJ? All right, fine, Jesus. Bugs, bugs. By the way, which we bred in order to extract their blood, which is like petroleum. Okay. And then they escaped the lab, and now they're taking over whole planets. You just gonna let that happen? You gonna let democracy die, TJ? No. I can't then let them. You gotta get to die. Die, bro. I guess I gotta you get held divers. I'll be your too. support. So I play support in that game because it's ultra rare. Nobody plays support items. Everybody wants to be the big guy with the nobody likes the nobody likes to be support. That's me. I do. Because you know what? I enable my team. Okay. You're a I'm nurturer. A I'm a nurturing presence on my team. That's I've got what was your Discord, Paul? The bullets are coming in. Discord. It's the easiest Paul. URL, motherfucker. Discord.gg forward slash Paul. Right. He got Bing, fucking Paul, Bing. dude. It's not even like Paul's ego or Paul one two Paul. three. It's just nope. Paul. Just Paul. I'm the Paul on Discord. 
He the is Paul. the Paul of Discord, dude. He's the Paul. Do you know who the he Paul is? He is the Paul. Discord.gg slash Paul. I joined it. A better Good. Discord than them all. Yeah, we do a lot of voice chat, Stevie. So if you're just bored one night and gaming and you want to pop in and 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 stream, because you know how you can stream to Discord mm-hmm. and have people like watch your gameplay and fuck around. I do it all the time, bro. I game a lot. And so I'm over there. I'll stream whatever game I'm playing. And uh people will pop in and we'll talk. Discord.gg forward slash Paul. In fact, I'll just join right now too. Paul looking like Randy Quaid. Do I? I don't really see how, but maybe. I don't feel like I look like Randy Quaid, but I'm willing to take it. You know what? Something has lived rent free in my mind for like almost like over 10 years, I guess now, probably what? since like 2012. Somebody, so I was doing that. You guys remember I did, I did those like ego answers videos where yeah. I would answer questions that the audience left or whatever. So in one of those, a dude left a comment and he was like, Paul sounds exactly exactly like John Malkovich. And I was like, what? what? No, you don't. And, but th- that's the thing. Nobody has ever backed that up. I don't hear it, but I still fucking remember you it. You know what I'm- it is? You know what it is? I've, I, I've seen that with John Malkovich. I, I actually watched an interview with him recently. We went over his biggest roles on some of those uh, these YouTube channels. You have a very similar cadence the way you talk. Maybe. Maybe so. But you don't sound. You don't. Your voice. Your voice don't sound alike. But the way you pause <coughs> and stuff is like you. Have, I can kind of see that a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. I don't think. I don't think it's spot on. But I can kind of see it. I trust your judgment on it. I don't see a fucking similarity between he and I. Maybe. Maybe you're right. Maybe it's in. See the how, way you pause on your words. He does that too. The way you come I up on a word. On you, well, you kind of do. Like you kind of like you almost have a brief pause and then you say a word. Like it's weird. Uh, like, it's not like you pause in the word. It's like the way you come to a word. You know, like it's yeah, like when I'm moving from word to word, I do a little pause. Is what yes. you're saying, like a, like a like an audible. Pause. Yeah, and he does that too. You do yeah. a Malkovichian pause sometimes. That's I, I, I can well, do that. that. Answers the question that I've had in my head for fucking ten years. So that's nice. What was that person talking about? You know, and now I kind of know. I guess maybe. You also draw your words out too. I would say. And he kind of draws his words. I out. wonder where John Malkovich is from, because I wonder if it's a regional thing. Is he? A- I think he's from New York. I believe. I think I he's mean, from New York. I'm right? pretty sure he's a New Yorker, but let me check. Yeah. I know he was. He was in Boston, I believe, because he joined the a, the, a repertory theater there that's really famous. I know he worked What's in Chicago. Take? I think I too. Yeah, I'm I looking it up right now. Um. Blah 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 blah. Where's his early life? Okay, he was born in Illinois. Illinois. Okay, that's what it was. Illinois. Illinois. Ra- born and raised in Illinois. Grew up there. Um, born in Chicago area then. And then um, let's see. Did he move anywhere anytime? So he his paternal grandparents were Croatian immigrants. Um, do, 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 do. See, it, it's strange to me because there's no connective tissue that I know of in my family to the Midwest at all. So I it, wonder if it, I mean I wonder if his voice is the result of an accent or if it's just a, a like a cadence. Well, but oftentimes cadence is as regional as accent is. But I mean I know I've known a lot of people from Illinois and I've never heard anyone that I thought was like they talk a lot like John Malkovich. You know what I mean? Like I think he's just one of these guys that his voice is an he's, accent. It's, a, it's like Chris, like Christopher Walken thing. John right. Like they have a unique voice. Like there's Paul, no one else a unique voice. So I, I bet I know what it is now that you've pointed it out. I have the the way my cadence is largely built for enunciation. So True. I've well, you're both theater kids because he was a theater kid. Yeah, too, I've so spoken this way since I was probably about 13 years old due to just theater training. You slow down so that you make sure you're not doing what Biden does, where he's like, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, so that, and he's a theater. He's a theater dork. He's a stage actor trained. Oh, yeah. uh, first and foremost, so yeah, it probably has something to do with that. I'd be willing to bet. Fucking Bill Hader does a spot on John Malkovich, but that dude can do a spot on like fifty different people. So <laughs> I'm John Malkovich. I love that video where he's with John Malkovich. He's like, I don't sound anything like that. Yes, you sound exactly like this. <laughs> it was great. 
It's good. And whatever you think about Bill Hader, <clears throat> that dude is a fucking great impressionist. He's a, an insane impressionist. He can do I mean, so amazing. Many. He does Pacino fucking pretty much spot on. And, and not and not parlor trick impressionist. Because a lot yeah. of people can do like a Christopher Walken. Well, but they can not, do like one. Note. It's not spot on, I guess. It's it's a you can tell a little uh, bit. Sure. But, but it's fucking pretty damn close. He he does he does in my opinion the best Schwarzenegger in the business. Yes, his he Arnold does. is really oh good. His Tom Cruise is amazing. He does a fucking amazing Tom Cruise. Like, and that's a hard one. He Tom does Cruise impressions of he, cele- he does impressions of celebrities that I don't think anyone else even does. Dude, you, you know, you know, who actually did a really good one of Tom Cruise is the Ben Stiller one, dude. He did the really. Stiller, good. Actually, Tom Cruise is pretty fucking good. Yeah, he's, he's actually pretty a, good in it. It might rival Bill Hader's, but Bill Jamie, Hader's more uh, Jamie Fox. Oh God. People forget Jamie Foxx does a fucking almost perfect fucking. Oh, drama. dude, Jamie Foxx is like a fucking. He's like uh, one of those. What are those? Remember, birds, right? Mockingbird. He can do any fucking voice, bro. I thought he was so good in that talented. in that role. I mean, because he's well, a really great impressionist. I think Jamie Foxx got a weird career. He'd be a a good topic maybe for like a deep dive because his career is all over the fucking place, dude. True. Started um kind of like broke into it because he was hired by the Wayans to be on In Living Color. And he was a he was like a star on In Living Color. This is, oh, this is, is great, that, dude. This is yeah, this is his Trump. <laughs> it's a tremendous. Oh, we can't Trump, hear it. Oh, no, you can not hear it? Okay, sorry. I'll uh, I'll fix that. His Trump is fucking phenomenal. I think Shane Gillis's Trump might be better though. Yeah, that dude yeah, is pretty. Shane fucking Gillis sick. is fucking dead. That dude on is Trump also. I mean, like, Trump. I think that guy might be completely dead on. To the point yeah. where you can't even, but but Jamie Foxx has a fucking pretty goddamn good one too. It is Let's, good. We can compare. It's a lot of great people on both sides. <laughs> Lots of great people on both sides. I know Harry o, He's a great person. He couldn't vote for me at the time. Now he can vote for me once he gets out. I love Snoop. You know, I think his main problem is here. I think he's got the cadence and like the timber and everything. I think he just does it a little too fast. That's that's what most yeah. people do with Trump. Trump is a slow talker. He has yes. moments where he speeds up. I, let me tell you something, but but it's all it's like a rev of an engine when he goes fast. It it reaches a crescendo and then it falls back down into the space. Trump, how do you feel? But like, yeah, pull a Shane Gillis, bro. I'm Shane Gillis is fucking retardedly dead on. Trump gave what I think was probably one of the. Yeah, I'm doing it right now. Uh, here you go. Greatest speeches of world leaders given, you know, it's got to be up there with like Churchill, Gettysburg Address. Is the night the United States killed the leader of ISIS. Trump comes out of the Situation Room at like midnight in the White House and he walks down that fucking tunnel like he's, and gives a press conference like he's giving a post game NBA and just goes. Hold on. Stevie has fucked up this, uh, this setup here. I need to fucking make oh, a slight sorry. adjustment. <laughs> no, you're, you're fine, dude. I mean, it's. Yeah, we no. got to adjust it. I'm not we, saying you you have it set up for the oh, three pe- person you can. You didn't. Before. You didn't fucking. You can. Yeah, you can. We can customize it. It's not a big yeah, deal. Yeah, it's easy. So fix. I'm just fixing it's better that. to do it now than have it play yeah. the whole gauntlet. So uh, it's not bad, but yeah, there's a little weird gap there. We there. Go. That's, oh. better. That's way better. Abu Bakar Al Baghdadi is dead. He died <laughs> like a dog. <laughs> Dude, right. Hidden, perfect. Tone, perfect. Pitch, right. perfect. The fucking, but the it's thing that gone. really sets it apart, I think, from, because I think, I think fucking um, Jamie Foxx nails all that shit, but what this guy gets that Jamie Foxx is not getting is he fucking gets the, the rhythm of the speech. Well, he does. Does. if you go back, look and at the, the hand speech. gestures he does when he speaks. Yeah, he even yeah, Trump does. Trump does a lot does, of stuff like right by his face. The, that, see that? that thing, the 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 Trump hand. He, he's he's in. He's like method acting the character. Yeah, like he's got he's got the eyes right. He's got the facial expression that's right. All, that's all part of how he delivers, dude. Everything mm-hmm. that you do with your body slightly changes the timbre tone of your voice because there's an. Well, even the way you hold Trump holds his jaw. I mean, there's like so many yeah, different was, things you have to get right to do it. Right. In NBA, just goes, you can see him talking. He's he's he has a totally different stance, and then when he goes into it, it's like his face yep. goes up like this. Like all right, his eyebrows to... come together, so he does the squint and the eyebrow raise. His mouth <sighs> shape is different. His <sighs> posture is different. He's mm-hmm. doing like he does the lean the, back. The Trump does. Yeah. He's doing the centaur posture, where Here. he's like 
His body is too forward, so he's leaning back to compensate kind of posture. Let's just play this. Abu Bakar al-Baghdadi is dead. He died like a dog. And it's like... <laughs> I didn't change one word of that. That's what he opened with. <laughs> that sounds about right. Minutes. The speech is 40 minutes. The meanest shit talk you've ever heard in front of the whole world. Abu. We can hear him crying. I said, Abu, don't cry. <laughs> Let me tell you. was a fucking psycho, dude. Abu. Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, yes. dude, he's, he's just something else, man. <laughs> fucking psychotic. I've always you killed him. He cried like a little baby. I've always wished that I had that like mockingbird level of impressionism. Oh my, my, God. Who my, imper my impersonations are always, I will hone in on one aspect of a person's personality and speech pattern and, and accent. And I will just ride that. That's what people usually do. Yeah. You're copying even... paint. You're, you figured out one part of it and you just keep copying. Dude, that you're still fucking miles ahead. Cause when I'm in, when I'm if I'm doing an impersonation of someone, I don't even try to for accuracy. I just fucking like Biden, I just go old. I'm just like what's TJ, what do you think Joe is your strongest Biden. impersonation? What I don't have a, a so yeah, I mean I can there's kinda nothing do you would, there's nothing I can kind of do, do well. uh, I can kinda do Sebulba from Star Wars. You actually do that pretty good, I would say. Mind tricks no work on me, only money. It's I been think that's better, Watto. But... Is that yeah. Watto? Whatever. That's Watto. Yeah, Watto. Oh, yeah. So Bulba is the, the eraser. Fucking, the crazy yeah. race guy. Yeah. Watto. <laughs> Dude, I do a crazy good reptilian brain, bro. Before my voice changed, I could do Mr. Garrison from South Park. But after puberty, oh, Garrison, I couldn't do it anymore. Couldn't As it. I've gotten older, I've gotten that raspy thing. Yeah. So I can do that fucking reptilian brain shit real good, man. Do it. You should hire yeah, yeah. my ass. Do the reptilian swimming darker, darker, deeper down. Oh, yeah, down, that's pretty much down, perfect. Down into a sea of blackness. It feels good down here. You want to stay a little longer. I'm good. That was, damn, that was damn good. <laughs> I know, dude. I'm good. I need to fucking get a voice acting gig now. Yeah, I was wondering when the uh, like, was it, Olympic it. system was going to kick Dude, in with it. I'm a uh... voice like this. <laughs> no, it's time for you to wake. <laughs> you must wake up. There are things to do. Get those things. There's nothing worth doing out there. You want to sleep. It's an actual that almost sounds exactly like it. <laughs> yeah, this actually this, this is actually what happens in Paul's head every day. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Um, what was that? Steve? Your body crackles with energy that must be spent. It is time to step away from the void. Oh, Stevie. there's a fourth guy. Any, what the fuck is this? The Stevie. Stevie, dude. Stevie, you got any good oh, impressions? Really, really. Uh, none that I can really think of. You know how it's it not is one you impression you've ever tried in your life? Not one? I can't think of any good ones. My, my voice usually stays pretty monotone. Um, let's see. N name someone that name something. Let's see if I can do something. I think of one that I think would be can you do one, one that I would know. Budhead? Yeah, can you do <laughs> Beavis or Budhead? <laughs> hey, Budhead, check it out. Uh, All right, that's a pretty bog standard Beavis. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> bog standard. <laughs> what? That's just, uh, that's just, just a way of, What about you, TJ? You got any impressions? Not really. Like, None of my impressions sound like the person. Like, if I'm doing Joe Biden, I'm just like, it's me, I'm old. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, it's bad. It's if bad, I, kids. I don't know, dude. You, when you did the oh, Vosh impression that you did when you were doing the uh, Vosh leftism commercial was pretty damn good. what I do? You said, just vote for the lib, my guy. <laughs> Hey, my guy, vote for the lib. Just vote for the libs. <laughs> See, Steve, you got some deepness to your voice. No, There's some shit you, you can, can do. Remember, bro. You can put some, you, yeah, I mean, you just gotta you find... Know, if Stevie took some gotta... vocal lessons, you know what he could do? What? Swing low. Dude, you could swing old sweet chariot, dude. Let me see if I can do it. Get deep. Swing low, 
yeah, yeah, you just need a little bit. You, you need some tone and some a little, little bit of. I don't know how to do uh, tone. <laughs> well, tell, that's that's what you learn. Thing. You could learn. Yeah, you gotta yeah, learn your yeah. breathing and stuff, Stevie. Thing. But you got you have a deep enough voice. You could do. You some... could sing bass in chamber choir. You would have you'd have been a bass in high school in chamber choir. Oh yeah. I sang second tenor yeah, and really. baritone. Thank you. You should have done more creative shit, Steve. That's your problem. You got to put a little more soul in the voice. That's all you really need. You just need a little more. I soul. have no soul. It's, it's, it's vocal training, <laughs> which I mean, if you're learning to sing, it's a skill like anything else. Feed me, see more. Or voice acting. <laughs> TJ can do a Bernie impression. Scotty's Bernie is goaded. Scotty's yeah, got the best Bernie. Scotty's Bernie. a better impressionist than TJ is, honestly. Oh yeah, he's. Let's hear some impressions, Scotty. He's got a couple in his repertoire. Damn it, Jimmy! Don't ask me for an impression. You stupid you son of a bitch. <laughs> Do it, do Bernie, yeah. Scotty. TJ, in my view, the United States is a strong country, TJ. It's very strong, but we have to. Uh, look, I, I hate to do this, TJ. I hate to do it, but I have to bend the knee for Biden. Look, I, Donald Trump will destroy this country, TJ. This country is under attack, TJ. It's under siege, and we have to protect the country. And the only way to protect the country, TJ, is we must do this right now is vote for Joe Biden. Uh, Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Scotty. <laughs> You're welcome. That's brutal. <laughs> too accurate and too brutal. I know. Uh, it was too sad. soon for me on that one. <laughs> That's why I did the Joe Biden. Then I was like, oh, I'll be fucking rub salt in the wound, too. I'm at, <laughs> just rub a little more edge. Ugh. Nailed I'll teach you all the world's a stage, so just enjoy your hour upon the stage. Thanks, Scotty. Stevie, sing Hoist the Colors, please. I don't know if Stevie <laughs> knows that. Do you know that song? You know Stevie? Hoist the Colors, Stevie? Ah. Uh, God damn. Uh, Evo, we can give him the lyrics. You know, you can that. Look up YouTube, voice the colors. Karaoke. Shall we die? I, think, I think I can do that. Step below that. Yeah, just do the do that part. Just go like, no. Hey, Stevie, you promise you don't believe in yourself, die. dude. I bet you can nail it. I bet you can nail it, Stevie. <laughs> Just put a little sing. Never sick. shall we die. You, can, you can down here, deeper. Stevie. Use your diaphragm, but, but, man. Yeah, Just use so that you diaphragm. Have a base voice. You can go from the chest, Stevie. From the chest. Yeah, you have to like. Okay, so when you're singing, uh, uh, you have to uh, breathe in from like you know when you're when you breathe in and your stomach goes uh, out, you have to diaphragmically breathe. Yes. So breathe in through your nose and let your stomach come out while you breathe. Fill those lungs. Mm -hmm. You got to really push it. Never shall we die. Oh, you'll see a lot of basses tuck their chins because it helps your vocal cords curve forward, which lets you get a deeper, richer tone. Sweet. You'll hear the deep basses do this like gravelly low note that sustains. Like, but I can't do it. Yeah, see, you got it, dude. Yeah, you Steve, could, you, if you it, took man. vocal, you just need a, you just need a little training. If you took vocal classes, you could be like a fucking, uh, like a spiritual yeah. singer. Like you could do like old fucking bluegrass. Yeah, I mean, just for your streaming. I mean, you could do some cool ass voices and stuff on your streams, even just for that. Bro. You know, you like to stream. I, I had like a. I just thought of it, a uh, mind flare impression. But ever since I learned that mind flares uh, actually telepathically talk, I, uh, Did you, I kind uh, of threw that into the garbage. How about some fucking Johnny Cash, dude? You might be able to do some uh, Johnny Cash, right? Do you know any Johnny Cash songs? Let's see. The Ring of Fire. The Ring oh, of no Fire. Fun. Just got to go that's louder. It's okay. too deep, too. Johnny Cash is right here. Love is a burning thing. Love. Love is a burning thing. There you go. Yep. It, and makes it makes a fiery, fiery ring bound, bound by wild by desire. desire. You, gotta, he also kind of sings out of the side of his mouth. I fell into a ring of fire. I fell into Also, why you're walking stage is a great back. choice you're to play Johnny Cash because you're walking back. Back. I realize talks out of the side of his fucking mouth. That's what I just so said. Johnny Cash. I just Wait, fucking said that shit. I, we said we had the same thought at the same fire. time. You oblivious fucking bastard! I said it at the same time as you. No, you did. I guess I, I didn't hear you say it. I'm telling you that now. I did not hear you say it. I didn't hear you say it. You're terrible, Lord, TJ. Lord, no. Lord, You're terrible, TJ. I do a great Lord, mammy, but I can't. They won't let me do it. They're fucking. You can, 
you can't do a mammy TJ. That's, that's like offensive I, to people. So. I did do it. I can do it. All my impressions are offensive. That's my problem. Do a great that is true. Chinese, You're good at some really great, offensive, great, stereotypical how like, impressions. How you guys like my background updates that I've been doing? I like it. You check, did you check out my Land of the Lost poster? Paul, have you ever Living fucking... in the Land of the Lost. That's dope. Oh, that's awesome. I, hey, bought, that at, I bought that at uh, Goodwill for like nice. five bucks. Paul, did you... um? Did you ever listen to the audiobook version of uh, Dune? Yes. I've listened to it like multiple it's, times. It's great. I mean, uh, my uh, uh, Chelsea's been listening to it. Ever since we saw that movie, she decided to listen to the audiobook. And I've been amazed by the production value on that thing. Bro, just like, wait. If she gets to God Emperor, that is the single best audiobook reading that I've ever heard. Because I mean, like, one cast member. Really? Because most most audiobooks have one dude or one chick reading the whole thing, but this yep. audiobook she's got, it's like they got a whole voice cast going. They have a whole voice cast in God Emperor too, but the, the dude that plays that does the the main narration and Lado is fucking brilliant. Wow. Like cool. it's it's just great. Yeah. The audiobooks are fantastic. All of them are really good. The books drop off pretty sharply after sure, the first. Sure, sure, sure. But um I was thinking though, uh, I want to do that, or I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to approach that level of production. But when I do the audiobook version of my book, I was gonna do like some different voice actors and stuff, and I definitely want to fucking tap you for a few roles in that because you've been talking about being voice, doing voice acting. I mean, dude, right? you know me; I'm always down to do it. I actually have a lot of fun doing it. The only bad experience I've ever had was Creationist Cat, bro. Well, I'm not. Don't worry. I'm not <laughs> yeah. gonna. I'm not gonna put you through that bullshit. Oh, it's I mean, gonna be worse, I'm Paul. Professional <laughs> through that shit, bro. I did it. He's just gonna have you in a studio. He's gonna have a whip. It's gonna be like until you get it perfect, you can't leave. I'm no, uh, you I didn't put that. enough emphasis on that syllable, you piece of shit. I love getting talked down to by a director. Like that is, I, I actually like hearing negative feedback because I wish more people would tell you straight up, like this ain't working. You know, like people are too polite. But when you're in that type of relationship where somebody wants something, a performance from you in a certain way, they try to bring out the best in you. Do this better. Give what me happened? more passion. Give me more energy. Give me less energy. Give me, you know, I love that. I what happened with part, Creationist but... Cat? I mean, the long, the short version of it is that Paul did some voice work for Creationist Cat, and it was like the dude just wanted to do a million takes pointlessly for he, the same. Okay, so I'll just tell the whole. I'll, I'll give you the quick version. He was on our show. Uh, uh, well, on Dunk, Drunken Peasant before it was, I was even on the show, right? Um, but I was just a guest, and he liked my Brett Keen impression. And he wanted to do a video where Creationist Cat interviews Brett Keen. And he asked if I could do it. And I was, you know, I was new to the arena. And I, I was kind of flattered that a dude with that many subscribers wanted to work with me. And I thought it was cool. Um, so I was like, sure, dude. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, man, I'll do, all, all I need is a couple hours from you. And we'll just do it together. It's like, okay. And so I got together with him. It was all night. And no take that I did of Brett Keen was Brett Keen enough. It wasn't enough this. It was a little too. And I was like, okay. So I thought by the end of the night, he was like, all right, dude. He's like, okay. He's like, can you come back tomorrow? And we do this, do a little bit more. And I was like, are you kidding? I was like, I work tomorrow, bro. I got a job. He was like, no, no. Like after work, just another, dude, it was another six hour session. So it was like almost 12 hours of recording for what ended up being like a five minute appearance in a video it was fucking ludicrous yeah that's insane i would never i mean i guess i probably would out of politeness but that's insane to me oh nah, there's no way dude. i'd be vacuuming gone. or something it's somewhere stevie, it's, so stevie in your settings here in um stream do you have noise reduction and shit checked go into your Hold on, let me check yeah down at the bottom and then you know just make sure oh yeah if you don't, it's it's not a big deal, but yeah, it'll it'll block out your like air conditioner back there. How's it sound now? If you're fine, better. Okay. Yeah, my fan has to be on because it gets so damn hot in here. Sorry, it's all good. It's all good. Your voice is actually modulated better too. It actually just like improves the audio in this app. All right. Thank you. Hell yeah. Um. Yeah, that's fucking crazy shit though. I think Vadim was recently diagnosed with OCD. Well, you know, like I said, I don't. I don't like diagnosing people or, or gossiping or whatever, but it it would make sense to me because he was very meticulous, but not good at communicating what it was he wanted from me. You know, 
So I'd give him take after take of different energy, different cadence. Um, none of it was right ever. And the take he ended up using was just a, some forgettable middling take that we'd gotten hours before we stopped. <laughs> that's so sad. <clears throat> so <clears throat> but that's the only time I've not had fun. Like I worked with Corey. I did yep. a Jordan Peterson for Corey recently, and I had a lot of fun with that. I do, you know, our commercials sometimes. I'll do a character thing. But yeah, dude, I'd jump at the chance at doing some fucking audiobook work just to put on my resume of nothing else, you know? Yeah, I gotta fucking utilize that. Uh, I think that fucking voice that is uh, the same one you used for the... Uh, uh, what's it fucking called? The thing from... Um, Disco Elysium. Oh, the, yeah. The oh, reptilian, reptilian, brain. reptilian brain. Yeah. Yeah. I think something like that could work for a few different parts. So, well, I got that down. You need a pirate? I don't need a pirate, but damn. <laughs> He's like, shit, I want to do pirate. I got Everybody needs a pirates. mean pirate, bro. I have a Dude, mean I'll put up. If you fucking, uh, I'll I'll throw a pirate in there. I can fucking, I'll, just, I'm just I'll write a fucking you, pirate in there. I ass fucking pirate, bro. That's all I'm saying. I only have a few chapters left, but I'll just throw a fucking pirate in for the fuck of it. Because <laughs> I can just I do that. different pirates. I got the old crusty deckhand. All right, let's hear I it. The, and I got the pirate captain. So you let's want the it. old crusty deckhand? Yeah, let's hear the old crusty deckhand first. I tell you, welcome aboard, matey. But there be no welcome here. The sea, she be a cruel mistress. <laughs> That's but the great. captain is even crueler yet. <laughs> you know, and then the captain is more like baritone and sure of himself. Mateys, tis time that we tackle the waves once again. For plunder, for riches, for rape and pillage, we hit the shores. Hit, you know, whatever. Yeah, that, that, you know, the two, that dude, that's a mean pirate. That could be a video game pirate. It, you're right. I mean, it could be. Oh, yeah. You, you ought to start applying for some voice acting gigs around. Bro, I don't know how. What do you mean? Where? I don't know. <laughs> I, I just think you're good enough to do it. I could. And do everybody it. here agrees. You could go. Um, I mean, there's like a bunch of places where you can go and do that. Um, but it's mostly going to be like gig work. Like voices.com, Upwork. Um, yeah, but how do you even break into that? Because I feel like if I create, an, I, I'd have to start like a channel and do like a, a reel and and well, you missed, that's that's basically what what generally happens on um, those sites are are the, is they'll give you something to read and you there is a, a so there's a website called backstage.com that also has a bunch of voice work and stuff for like little movies and stuff it's usually like it's usually like student films and things like that so you're not gonna you're probably not gonna get in like a fucking major production but but there's a bunch of people looking for voice work out there. Well, I, what I'd like, you know, what what I would want to do is like build a resume of stuff that I either didn't get paid for or got paid very little for. I don't really care about the pay at the beginning because the idea is to have a resume that's attractive enough. Like, oh, this guy's reliable. He's worked on a lot of stuff. Like the tone and timbre of his voice. Well, like I said, I'll give you, I'll give you some fucking voice work on my book when it's ready for well, audio. That's book. what I'm saying. I, I'd love to have it just as a reference, if nothing else, you know. There's a couple characters I think you could fucking probably voice. So yeah, I mean other shit too. Like if you're ever doing like a big production value, you know, TAA video, and you need a fucking character voice or some shit, I'm fucking always down. Maybe you could be the rep. Maybe you could just be the reptilian voice inside my own head. <laughs> yeah, Stevie, want to do a fucking co-stream with a with a character instead of uh, you know, and just have it be kind of like a back and forth where you play together with some crazy fucking lunatic. I'll do it. That'd be pretty fun, Scotty. If you need for me to cover for you, backstage about, makes about you pay money to do auditions. Well, fuck uh, that then. About the weed smell coming out of your office when when Taylor <laughs> comes, I can act like. I'm a I'm a law enforcement professional that has cleared you of all weed smoking charges. Yeah, look, you try to talk to this guy here. He, I'm available, you know. He's official. I officially have not smoked any weed today. Well, we're pretty close to this gauntlet now. Only a few minutes away. 
And these people need to fucking, if they're already on our Patreon, they need to go join so they can watch this. I don't know. Is there anybody that's in this chat that's not a patron? Because we want you to see this gauntlet. We want you to fucking be there when we go down the history of Shock Rock. Or and if Paul's right and I'm just uh, subterfuging, then uh, you get to I mean, see whatever we, you get to see. Can we just... No, nah, nah, never mind. He'll see. He'll see. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about, Scotty? No, nothing. I was just fucking around, dude. Uh-huh. You're a bad boy, Scotty. What, man? Just, stupid, just enjoying, stupid weed. Just enjoying life, TJ. Just enjoying life. You know how it is. Why does weed <coughs> make me cough? I'm a guy that suggested that Gigi Allen beats up Heckler video. I mean, Gigi Allen beat up people at every show, I think, and got beat up by people at every show. <laughs> it's only fair. Dude, that whole she, TJ, give credit where it's due. Mm -hmm. That whole Gigi Allen fucking segment. Uh huh. This guy fucking started it, bro. You know right. what? I didn't even know Gigi him. Allen was he until that it. guy came along. His contribution was fundamental to it even existing as a segment. Stevie, do you know who that guy <laughs> Allen was? Uh, he was in the video I watched. Was he? Yeah, he was the one that was like the the defecator on stage. Yeah. <laughs> the defecator yeah to put it mildly yeah he liked yeah. to throw his shit around for sure yeah. like throw his shit uh, yeah he if channeled his took like laxatives and stuff die if you got aid spread it around and take some lives die when you die when you die you gotta die do, 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 do. there's also a really good in that uh documentary hated there's a really good cover of uh carmelita that he does uh, acoustically with somebody I, did, I didn't recognize playing the guitar and he's just sitting there like in a hotel room croaking the song out and it's like one of the most dude can you pull that up TJ yeah I, I bet if you search GG Allen Carmelita somebody will have clipped it it's actually dope and I don't think it'll trigger any copyright because that video is clipped all over fucking YouTube it's like you know clip to shit that that it's from the documentary yeah it's really good dude just listen to a little bit of it we don't have, i don't want to trigger any yeah, we'll yeah this is the one i can see even down there in the preview yeah Actually like his acoustic shit a lot there's a few things he did acoustically yeah it just it shows like the dude had like here's the thing gg allen like most people that are notable artists was a super complex character and a lot of the things that you learn about gg allen when you start looking into him if you're a, a law-abiding moral person you're not gonna like um, he was not. Well, yeah, he was a fucking, moral person. He was not a pretty all, fucking generous. Was a, he had the he by had his the, own. You know, I I look at Gigi Allen as like a warrior poet. You know, he was a terminal agitator, but he had the soul of a poet. The guy was really musically inclined from a very young age, and a lot of his early stuff before he started doing like the murder junkies and stuff is way more tonal way more contemplative rock music. Um, a really fucking amazing artist, honestly. Um, but a totally fucking... Like, you saw the tattoo. He's a scum fuck. Yeah. I mean, he he really was. Outside. This is my favorite uh, Gigi Allen song right here. You know the song, yeah. Outskirts of Life? Yeah, this is a great song, yeah. I won't play, I won't play an insane amount, but... Yeah. No, we can't hear it. Yeah, no sorry, you can't. No audio, my friend. I'm not playing any audio. No, no my friend, you won't play no audio, teacher. I hate this shit sometimes. You know nothing, teacher. You know nothing. Here we go. I spin hard and I accelerate on high. High to no one. Use who I got to use. 
don't ever try and get too close Cause I'm a burning fuse Everyone around me is someone I will play I'm living out my life and I'm living day to day This is kind of like country punk yeah, he it's his it's from his uh, country album, which is my favorite work he did. Honestly, I yeah. like his country shit because he's he's. I mean, he's. If there's ever been some outlaw country, it's the shit G.G. Allen fucking did. Because is this, this a great joke? dude? I know that you got some of you guys like unless the music is like produced to the to shit to like the twelve millionth degree, you just like you can't fucking possibly enjoy it. But like, it's this is from a punk rock era. All right. Uh oh, punk, uh -oh guys, rocker, we dude. caught ourselves an aristocrat in the chat. Is this is a this joke? joke? <laughs> he sings without refinement and there is no production value. Blah, 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 blah. Terrible. Terrible. You have Man, awful. You have I, no am video, dude. I am so thankful that whatever it was, whether it's genetics or my parents' musical influence, I am so grateful that I got two brain cells to rub together when it comes to consuming and appreciating art. Dude, I feel that way. Dude, in my Discord, we've been having the AI art discussion on an ongoing basis here with different people kind of jumping in and antagonizing me. Mm -hmm. And I feel like so many of these arguments are just two things, ignorant of history and lacking in any kind of art appreciation perspective at all. Like just not knowing... Because, like, one of the things I've been bringing up is minimalism. So, like, German minimalist movement, which mm -hmm. was a, a response to this kind of, like, Renaissance-style realist painting that had dominated the space of fine arts and painting forever, right? And the minimalist movement came along. And that when, when I say minimalist, these are, like, when you see a, a, a canvas painted off-white or half the canvas is black and half the canvas is white with a hand stroked brush and people will go and the, and the same type of people come out of the woodwork when a piece of art like that is made and the same type of people came out of the woodwork when the minimalist movement started there were people going this minimalism is not art it requires no art it requires no subtlety it is just base and rote and procedural and blah 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 it's the same shit that it literally like if you look into the minimalist movement some of the arguments being used against AI are literally mirrored in the arguments that other art snobs made at the beginning of the German minimalist movement. And guess what? Minimalist paintings sell for millions of dollars now and are widely not only accepted as art, but taught in art schools everywhere as a fundamental part of art, a minimalist movement within art. Well, Paul, you're gonna have a lot of chances to talk about art tonight. On Maybe the shock rock, gone. dude. It, I, 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 as I've been talking a lot more and just like conversating with people, I've come to discover mm -hmm. that, and on hideology as well, because it's had this bent for the last couple of months at least. Mm -hmm. I love talking about art. Well, you have plenty of chances tonight when we do the shock rock gauntlet, Paul. Yeah, there ain't no all right. Let's talk gauntlet. about art, Paul. We very will... soon. Yeah, very, very soon. You're going to have to be Not able a to patient, a patron. Seven day hours. trial. Go join right now. Go join right now. Go join and, right uh, now. What the Stevie, fuck else do you need to do? Stevie, if you do don't you join, a... go do something else. Go be bored. Yeah, yeah. Stevie, you have a link to the other one? Uh, No. Scotty, get him that link. We'll be seeing you guys in like a few minutes over there. And we're going to be starting Stevie, what's that your channel? Comment. Plug your channel before and we go. If you are not oh. a patron, join the Patreon so you can see it. And okay. Stevie, Stevie streams plug too. Your shit. Plug uh, your shit. Stevie, plug your stream. I, I, I I stream on Twitch, twitch.tv at uh, Steve's or the Grim. <laughs> uh, well, twitch.tv slash Steve's or oh, I can't fucking talk. Steve, it's your own channel. I know. Uh, uh, follow me on Twitch at uh, Steve's or the Grim. Steve's <laughs> or the Grim. Put the link know. in the description. Hey, Thank yeah, you, Stevie. Yeah, yeah, type it in the chat real quick, Stevie. All right. Not the whole link, but just Steve's or the Grim. They can get the twitch.tv slash part. Just make sure they get the Steve's or the yeah, ground. I'll drop yeah, Stevie's go follow Stevie. channel Dude, I down below. Give Stevie a follow. I haven't Thank been you. in a while, but Stevie will back me up on this. I will go chill with Stevie sometimes when he's when right he's there. Streaming. Look, and it's like it's a super stonery, super super chill environment with Stevie. So 
Go check look, it out. I even put it on as your new screen name. I'll do it for you. Look at that. Look at that. Go Twitch. follow twitch.tv slash Steve's or the Graham. Go now. Thank you. Steve's or the Graham. Go now. Go now. Go now. Go. Do it. Do it. <laughs> All right. Join us for the shock art, shock rock gauntlet coming at you in a few minutes over on Patreon. Join our Patreon. Tell him to fuck Bye. off. Bird Join out. the Patreon. Flip fuck the bird. Off. Okay. Baby, tell him to fuck off. 